Now it's time to talk about the framing systems inside the WinBid Pro version 15 software. Uh, I've gone ahead and gotten into the program, selected a vendor catalog, and now we're sitting at the main screen with a job open and, and an elevation on the screen. Now the framing systems, and I've mentioned this before in previous videos, is kind of the heart of the program because it's where all the settings for the drawing as far as the proportions and the part numbers and how it's cut and all those types of things are set uh, in framing systems. So, so let's go ahead and dig into one of these. Uh, we, we need to click the framing systems link on the menu tree. Now notice it's under the vendors um, heading and that means that it's basically a subset of a vendor. So every vendor has its own set of framing systems. And like I say, this is US Aluminum, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at their list of framing systems. Now you can sort this uh, a number of different ways, but basically you see a frame ID, a description, frame type, profile, glazing method, glass thickness, glass position, and then we also have an edit date. And if you have a large screen, you can go ahead and maximize this as much as you want. Um, either size it yourself or click the maximize button. Now, also keep in mind that you can do the sorting different ways. Uh, description's a pretty common way. And the ID numbers, let's touch on that. The ID numbers, uh, if you're used to version 14, these are a lot different. Version 14 had only 200 possible framing systems, and they were pre assigned numbers. And there could be empty numbers, there could be occupied numbers. So in the version 14 program, you were able to kind of uh, keep track of your systems by number just because you could move a system to number one if you wanted it to be there, or you could move it to number 50, and you could group them from 50 to 55, things like that. But this is a totally different concept with frame ID. This is an auto generated number, and it's not going to be. Um, in a sequential order necessarily because when you create jobs it's actually using up some numbers so a lot of the systems or the the vendor catalogs will have um, framing systems that start with maybe frame ID but it could even have a system that starts with frame number 250 so the ID number is not something that you can really um, use to organize your framing systems like it like it was in the version 14 program the alternative in this new 15 program is to use the description as a, as a method of organizing your systems. And we tried to do that by description just by matching the description that's uh, listed in the vendor's printed catalog. So we try and take it almost word for word, but we're using these colons to help kind of uh, visually make it easier at a glance to see what you're working with. So, but you have full control over editing these um, descriptions here, so don't be afraid to uh, add, say, a, a number one dash in front of this. Like if I wanted to sort this as the first one all the time, I'm going to put a one dash and then th the rest is the same, 400 series and all that. So let's say, for example, I want this one to be number two. All I have to do is click on the description, go over and put two dash, and I just put a space because it looks a little cleaner. Now, if I sort by description, I should see those in order. So see how it's number one and two, but the frame IDs are not in order. Um, and, and that's just an example of how you can kind of creatively organize the list of framing systems yourself. So keep that in mind. That's something that you might want to do, especially if you're used to the old version 14 program. So the other thing you can do is use this filter bar. Uh, we've seen this in the parts list, but it works the exact same way here. If we only wanted to see screw spline systems, I could type the word screw here, and it's only showing me screw spline systems. So there's 69 of those systems. Now if I only wanted to see 2 inch screw spline systems, I could put a 2 there, and you'll notice that also shows us the 2.5s because that begins with a 2. Now if I want to do just 2.5s, obviously I'd put a 0.5 there. So remember, you can use this um, filter bar to actually sort, or not sort, but filter your list and narrow it down to just the uh, frames that you want to look at. So I could put an O for outside glazed. I could put a 1 here for glass thickness. And then I could go back to 2-inch system. And uh, center, 
glass position so I could really narrow it down just by putting a couple characters up in this filter bar. So that's that's a trick with any of these lists that, that you'll find in the program but it helps a lot with framing systems as well. Now let's go ahead and take a look at one of these systems. Um, I'm going to click on this number 33. Now one thing about frame ID is it is it's a number that doesn't change. So system 33 uh, right now it's 451 series IT, it's a screw spline, 2 inch outside center set system and that will never change to another um, frame ID unless of course you can copy it to another frame ID but the original 33 will always be that system unless you go in and just edit everything and change the description and do all that but uh, no matter who has this catalog installed if it's another person in your company uh, if they've installed the same catalog, their system number 33 is going to be this exact system unless it's been changed. So that is actually an advantage if you want to look at it that way. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and edit this. And what we'll see is a series of four tabs, and each tab has a, a specific purpose. Uh, the first tab is the profile settings for the framing system. Now those are what tell the program that this is a two-inch system. Now these descriptions here that we saw in the list, those are mainly for just sorting and uh, filtering the list. So you can change those when you add your own system or you can change it in a system that's already there to be uh, different if you like or, um, or you could always leave it, of course. So the profiles are important. There's the head seal jam, all those different things. Glass stops are part of a framing system. So if a certain system requires glass stops, you need to make sure you put the, the profiles for that and then you have the alternate horizontals which there's three more types of horizontals you can have and each one could have a different profile and there's all these uh, settings on how the verticals are cut, how the head and sill material is cut and uh, door jams included, wall jams, all those types of things so we're going to go have different videos that will help you learn kind of the different tabs here because each one has a lot of information that needs to be uh, conveyed. So also keep in mind you have a tips button here. If we click tips, there are specific tips for the framing systems. And this tip is just for this first tab, the framing system description and and, uh, and profiles and all that. So there's a different tip for the stock links and uh, miscellaneous and all that. So we can close that. So anytime you see tips on any of these windows, I would recommend clicking that just to see what it has to say. And uh, so, yeah, be sure to watch the other videos that cover the different tabs in the framing system screen. And it'll cover these bottom settings in more detail as well. That's it.